Hi folks, and welcome to Mad Maps, a plugin for non-destructive level creation in Unity. Today we're going to go through a brief overview of the World Stamp feature, which is just one of the tool sets included in Mad Maps, along with a terrain layering system and a complete road tool. So the World Stamp system lets us isolate areas in different scenes, and then capture those areas and stamp them elsewhere. So we can have lots of these little areas in their own scenes that we can iterate on and combine in the final level. This is really good for collaboration, which can be a nightmare in level design. Uh, you can easily version your stamps, roll back to earlier versions of an area, and iterate without any fear of screwing up other areas of the level. The purpose of Mad Maps is basically to provide you with a completely non-destructive workflow for building complex modular maps. Okay. So I've got uh, a little outpost for my level here on a terrain. We've placed a few prefabs, painted some splat maps, some grass, some trees, the whole shebang. We want to turn this area into a world stamp, which will allow us to place it anywhere we want. To do this, uh, first thing we need to do is open up the Mad Maps World Stamp Creator window. Let's just put that there. Okay. So, we need to tell the stamp creator window uh, what area of the terrain we're going to capture. To do this, we can zoom out and see that there are two handles here. Just move those to specify the area that we're interested in, giving it a little bit of breathing room. Uh, I'll explain why later. So, yeah, that's looking pretty good. All right, when we're happy with that, we can just hit the lock icon up here, um, just so we don't accidentally move these later on. Now we need to actually capture the information within this area, and we can just do that by pressing the capture button. Alright, so we can preview any of this data, so let's preview the height map data in the scene, just to check that everything's gone alright. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Do things like preview the trees, let's preview the splat maps in the scene. Alright, looking good. So the next thing we need to do is paint the mask. The mask tells the stamp how it should blend with the world when you stamp it. So we want to mask out the borders of this stamp because we only care about the middle bit. So let's do that just by pressing the edit button next to the mask and that'll bring up the painter interface. So uh, as we built this outpost uh, little area off a flat plane, we can cheat a bit and mask out the lowest points to start with. Just expand out the mask area and click the fill from zero level button. So that gives us a bit of a hard edge, which we don't want. So let's uh, let's use the painting tool. I've got that set to max, the radius of five. And uh, so we can just soften up that edge a little bit. That'll just mean it'll blend in nicely with the terrain when we stamp it down later on. All right, looking good. So when we're happy with the mask, we can just stop editing there. We're ready to make our stamp. Uh, so we're happy with our stamp being made on the default layer. Just press the Create New Stamp button. And that makes a new object here in the scene. And this is our stamp. You can look at it in the inspector and see we've got a bunch of different options about how we can stamp it down on the terrain. We can set the height blend mode. Set different options for trees, objects, splats, details. Let's leave all those to default right now. They're, they're pretty good as defaults. Let's move that along here and, and test out our stamp. So we can preview, get a bit of a sense of the information we've captured here. Let's rotate it around. I want it facing a, a different direction. All right. So let's try this out. Let's stamp this down onto our terrain and see what happens. Alright, pretty cool. We've got two different outposts here now, pretty much identical. You see we've captured it pretty well. So we can grab this, pref this uh, object here right now and make a prefab out of it, use it in different scenes however we want. Um, we can also so I want to iterate over this uh, little area. 
in the future. I don't want to have to reset up all this process all over again. So I can also uh, make a little thing called a stamp template, which basically just captures the configuration we've set up here, captures the mask we've painted, and stores it in an object in our scene called the stamp template. So later on, if I want to restore these capture settings, I can just do that just by pressing this button here, set as capture settings. Okay. So this was a super brief overview of what is possible with the world stamp system. If you want to create complex levels in a completely non-destructive, modular and powerful way, I think Mad Maps can help you do it. Check out the description uh, for some links of how to start playing with these tools. Cheers.